Hello and welcome to another Monkeys Motors Monday morning vlog. Being brought to you on a Tuesday due to us having another bank holiday, which is lovely. And it is nice sunny weather as you can see, which makes a nice change. Let's see if we can do a bit of filtering. It's always a bit interesting at this box junction because obviously cars are wanting to turn. So you gotta be careful. I think we can make some progress. Uh, I won't push to the front. We'll go second. But um, yeah, nice day to be riding. Got the leathers on. I had a few days in textiles last week, so it's nice to be back in leather. I've been doing a little research into maybe booking a track day sometime next month in June. Um, so yeah, there's a little racetrack in Kent, uh, Lydon Hill Racetrack, and they do car and motorbike track days. Um, but there's not much information on the website. I'm either, well, I probably won't give them a ring. I'll probably just pop round because it's the excuse to go somewhere on the bike. Um, but yeah, on the website, the application form, it's £100 for their track day, but it doesn't really kind of give any indication on like how much track time you get with that. It just kind of says, you know, all day. So I don't know how many hours on track that is because like you know if it's an hour then I might not be that interested because 100 pounds for an hour's fun is quite a lot of money considering I don't you know I won't get much out of it I've no idea what I'm doing if it's gonna be that expensive maybe hmm, bike for sale maybe I'll look into getting one of these tutored track sessions where they actually teach you a bit because I might not be able to teach myself much in an hour but then again, you know, four 15 minute sessions, I might be absolutely knackered riding hard. But then if it's say, you know, four hours on track, you know, you kind of get all day just to play, then that'll definitely be worth it. So yeah, I'm thinking about that. I might pop over there and have a chat with them. My only worry is there is, I think it's 105 or 108 decibel limit on your exhaust. Um, and my exhaust being the Propovich megaphone exhaust, I'm guessing it's probably one of the louder ones. Um, and I, yeah, I do not have the baffle in. The DB killer is not in. But it is under my bum. It is under the seat. So I'm pretty sure you just kind of pop it in, tighten the screw, job done. But um, So yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping that I can kind of pop around and say hello, chat about the track day and get them to test my exhaust while I'm there. Because it seems silly to kind of book something, pay for it and then not be allowed to go because your exhaust is too loud. Um, and yeah, I'm still hoping to do the speed triple test ride very soon. Um, actually, I don't really pay, I haven't paid much attention to new bike releases recently. I haven't bought bike magazines in ages. Oh, she just coming at the junctions way too quick for my liking. Um, but yeah, I saw the new, it's only the street triple. So it's only the 675, but the street triple RX or something. They've just kind of refreshed it a bit and it looks nice. It does look nice. I'm liking the look of that bike. I don't know if they're going to do something similar with the Speed Triple. Because, yeah, I've, uh, after test riding a couple of thousand cc's, I'm kind of, I kind of want a bigger bike now. I don't know if I can stick with a 600. Because, um, you know, they're plenty quick enough, but I can be going along at 30, only in second gear, and I, you know, go full throttle and not much happens. <laughs> Obviously, compared to a car or anything, I'm going ridiculously quick, but... So no, I've just got no low down torque. We'll probably have to wring this thing's neck and just leave it in first gear, which is, I don't know, it's hard work, you know? But, um, so yeah, I'm tempted by the nice low down torque of a big 1000cc. Um, excuse me on this stretch, it's my only chance to go quick on the way to work. So, I like to enjoy it. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've got to say for this Monday morning vlog. So I'll see you next time.